Michael Norman recently announced that he is making the drop down to the 100 meter dash in the 2023 season. This might be a bit surprising, but Norman did predict this back in 2019 at the Bowerman Awards ceremony. Yep, when and if I bring that gold medal home, Coach Carroll, wherever you are, you made this agreement already. <laughs> She'll be my coach and we'll be training for the 100 meters. And Coach Watts probably won't like it, but you know, it's an agreement we made and I know I'm excited for it. So um, it's just more motivation. Now, I think most people have actually wanted to see Norman drop down to the short sprints at some point in his career. He already has personal bests of 9.86 and 19.70 in 100 and 200 respectively. On the flip side, I'm sure that many are confused by this move considering Norman just won his first 400 meter medal after dealing with setbacks in 2019 and 2021. But with that, let's look at a few implications of this move to the 100 for Norman. Specifically, can he make the US 100 meter team? What is his potential time-wise in the event? And what a potential 100-400 double at the World Championships would look like if he made the team. First off, is moving down to the 100 meters a good decision? Absolutely. Norman is coming off winning his first 400 meter gold at the 2022 World Championships. So the big thing here is that he has a wild card in the 400 meters to this year's World Championships, meaning he could do whatever he wants at the USA's and he'll still be guaranteed a spot on the world team. Additionally, simply improving his ability in the short sprints will almost certainly carry over to his 400 if and when he does choose to go back to it. We already know what he can do at 200, but we also saw him focus on the 100 meters at the end of the 2021 season after the Olympics. It clearly paid off with some extremely fast 400 times in 2022, as well as his first world title. So will Norman be able to make the US 100 meter team? Well, that's where things get kind of tricky. If I had to rank Norman right now, I would say he is somewhere between 5th to 8th best 100 meter sprinter in the United States right now. Let's look at who we have. Fred Curley, Marvin Bracey, and Trayvon Bramell, they swept the 100 meters at USA's and World Championships. While Christian Coleman is a 2019 World Champion and the best 60 meter dash runner in history. So that's four guys already. Behind them is where you can start to throw in names like Norman, Lyles, Baker, and Makai Williams, who all have personal bests of sub 9.90 seconds. And if we're just to organize by personal bests, Norman would fall right in that range anyway, so he's right in 5th to 8th place. One positive thing is that Fred Curley has the 100 meter wild card by nature of being the world champion, so that means that 4 USA guys will go to Worlds. For me, it's kind of hard to put Norman ahead of guys like Bramell, Bracey, and Coleman who have faster personal bests and multiple global medals across the 100 and 60 meter dash. Then you have Noah Lyles, who has the wild card in the 200 and will be looking to make the 100 meter team for that one, two double. It's hard to bet against Lyles right now, considering what we've seen from him in the 60 meter dash just this indoor season. So if I was making predictions based on what we know right now, I wouldn't pick Norman for the US 100 meter team just yet. But to be fair, I also wouldn't put my money down on that prediction. Considering what we know Curly did in 2021, when he only had personal bests of 11.05 and 20.24 entering the Olympic year. Also, I have to give a mention to the rest of the world. Let's say that Norman makes the USA team, or even as he just competes at various meets around the world, he'll be going up against top guys like Omanyala, Jacob, Sabine, Tombogo, Seville, Blake, DeGrasse, and tons of other guys. All of them are capable of running 9.8 or faster if they've not already done so. So making a US team is one step, meddling at world championships is something completely different. What about time though? What might be possible for Norman to run? Well, his personal best of 9.86 seconds was set back in 2020 in a one-off race. Aside from that, since high school, Norman has only run three other 100 meter races with times of 9.97, 9.98, and a windy 9.90. So he's at least proven that he can be a consistent sub 10 runner, which is a first step. But in this era, you really have to be a consistent sub 9.9 runner to compete with the best, qualify for teams, and get on the podium. But if we're just talking potential, I think Norman clearly is capable of sub 9.8 seconds. Yes, he can run 9.7 in a 100 meter dash. I don't know if it would happen after rounds or just in a one-off race, but he clearly has that potential. Again, looking at the landscape of the US men's 100 meters, Curley, Coleman, Bromel, they all have personal bests of 9.76 seconds. Add in Bracey and Lyles, and at least low 9.8 seconds is a must in the 100. 
One last thing I want to point out is the potential for a 100-400 double. Let's say Norman makes the US team in the 100 meter dash. Well, looking at the schedule, the 100-400 double is very, very tough in Budapest this year. Let's check it out. The men's 100 meter starts on the evening of day one. Then on the morning of day two, he would have to run the 400 meter opening heats. Next, he would run the 100 meter semis and final on the evening of day two. Finally, he would end off the 400 meters with the semis and final on day four and five respectively. So, Norman would essentially have to make a choice if he made the 100 meter team. Go all out and try to win a 100 meter medal or defend his 400 meter title. Or he could go for a very challenging double. Doing the 400 meters the morning of the 100 semis and final would be insane. But he could go for it for all we know. Someone could correct me in the comments, but the last time I remember someone even attempting a 100-400 double, let alone actually completing it at a championship style setting, was Xavier Carter at the 2006 NCAA Championships. So yes, this could be unprecedented if we have never seen it at Worlds or Olympics. But if no one attempts it, he would of course be running with the 100 meters in his legs. So who knows if he could actually win medals in both of those events. Injuries kept him off the 400 podium alone in 2019 and 2021. And we already spoke about the deep 100 meter field. But let's not forget guys like Karani James, Matt Hudson Smith, Wade Van Niekerk, Jareem Richards, Champion Allison, and a whole host of other guys. They're gonna be coming for scalps in that 400 meters. So Norman cannot lose a step if he goes for that double. So all in all, I think this is very good for Norman since he has a 400 wild card to Worlds. He has 100 meter personal best of 9.86, which puts him close to the top five in the US right now. Again, let's be clear, being competitive in the 100 will not be easy for Norman, but I don't see why he shouldn't give it a go this year. So go in the comments below and let me know what you think of Michael Norman's potential in the 100 meter dash. Can he make the USA team? Should he go for the world championship double? What times will he be able to run? Should he be put on both the 4x1 and 4x4? Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks for watching.